Hi, and I'm an oversensitive bastard. Uh, today, I was um, talking about typing on Skype, and someone had brought up uh, some rapper. It doesn't even matter who the rapper is, because I sure don't know who it was. Some aspiring rapper had uh, was inside of a car that that wrecked and died. You know, everyone in the car died. And right before he died, he had typed the um, YOLO, you know, you only live once. It's like a big, it's like a big thing that's going on in hip hop and rap right now to say YOLO a lot. He wasn't driving and he was just a passenger, but still, still, that's not, that's not the point, I don't think. Anyways, he had typed YOLO, YOLO, you only live once, yeah, you know, and that's sort of um, looked down upon in the uh, anyone who I guess who's not into hip hop or, or a rapper or something like that so I was in a conversation where uh, one person in, had made the uh, had said that it was well I guess they, maybe I took it I don't even remember the, quite the comments it, it just, they just pissed me off they found it sort of funny or or um, that the person died or it's like they were deserving of death and they had mentioned that the other comments below, wherever this, um, I guess I'll have to find it later on if I decide to post this or not. But anyway, the comments below the the story were just sort of like, ha ha, you know, they weren't very sympathetic, basically. And I just felt like this immediate kind of, kind of like sadness, because I was thinking, well... And this is probably not even true, but I was thinking, okay, this guy is probably from the hood. This was his only way out to get out of the, to get out of the, the, the ghetto. And, um, yeah, he was probably just, you know, overexcited, you know. He had already made a couple of videos, so he had, he had immediately had experienced, um, a social, a social bump, you know, rapidly and almost instantaneously. You know, he went from, having, you know, girls that were only in his, um, I guess, social range, I suppose, and then all of a sudden he has like a, on a scale from one to five, he has like a fame of, of one, he's now a local celebrity, people can sort of go on public access, see his videos, or go on YouTube and see his videos, or anyway, he, he's like, he's about to make a record deal. And he's kind of, you know, famous. So he's he's experiencing the money. He's experiencing the women. He's experiencing, like, the pale imitation of what his life may actually bloom into. You know, he's seeing his future being at least some sort of moderate rapper. Maybe he'll be on MTV one day or BET or whatever music channels are out there. Anyways, anyways, he's young, dumb, and full of cum, right? He is fucking happy as they come right so i'm guessing he just made some really bad choices hopped in the car with some drunk ass motherfuckers as they were celebrating his parent awesomeness and then they met a wall and it killed them all and before that he had posted yolo you know so i was kind of where i got pissed off was because you know it was kind of like this sentiment like i don't feel bad that they died. They died being stupid. And it's like, whoa. You know, that might be the case, I guess. But, you know, I mean, just really, like, really kind of just buried a hatchet right, right, right into my chest. It really pissed, really pissed me off. Because I was very sympathetic towards that. I, I've been one who's sort of, you know, made... Some, some bad decisions when I was sort of, uh, or been around people who've made some bad decisions right when they're on the cusp of, of something great or they become a little too excited or something like that. And, you know, that could be very, very heartbreaking when you're like trying to achieve your dreams or trying to overcome adversity and stuff like that. You can make some bad choices or you can hop in the car with someone who's uh, might not have your best interest in mind because they're drunk as fuck. I don't know. I don't know. I just felt bad for the for the dead people. I'm always sort of sort of like a bleeding heart that way. And needless to say, I didn't really express this all all of this in the in the discussion. I just sort of 
rage quit because I was very, very angry at the time. I was like, why, why do you find death funny? Rah! I kind of just quit right off the bat. And, I don't know, to make it fair, I guess I would, I would laugh if, if it was in like a, in the context of a movie or something like that. Or maybe if I had read it, I would have found it, found it funny. Maybe I took issue with other people finding it hilarious or something like that. I, I just think I'm just a little too tender, tender skinned. I, I don't really like laughing at when people die. That's, uh, that's not really funny to me. It never has been funny. Not even when, well, that's all I'll say about that. I can go on and on.